Let's demonstrate pressure support ventilation on a ventilator screen. The trigger here, as you see, there is no mention of a trigger because it's by default assist trigger. And the trigger here is, sorry, um, the trigger here is a flow trigger. As you see here, it's only patient trigger. There is no other trigger. So the patient has to be awake enough to initiate this. And that's why we do not have a backup rate. As you see, there is no respiratory rate here somewhere. Okay, so that's the trigger. The target, as you see, is a pressure target. We ask the ventilator to give five centimeter HTO during inspiration. So five plus five. So the ventilator is fulfilling this by making the proximal airway pressure at 10 centimeter HTO basically five on top of the peep of five and of course peep and fi2 you have to provide it with each mode so it's a pressure target as you hear so you need to provide this pressure support number how high you want the proximal airway pressure to be during inspiration and this of course will be added on top of five so we don't start at atmospheric pressure here zero but we start at five the cycle as you see it's a flow cycle at 25 percent as you see here this is the in the orange is the inspiration and at 25 of the peak the breath terminate and the expiration start as you can see, there is no backup rate. There is no respiratory rate set. There is only actual respiratory rate. There is no tidal volume set. There is only whatever the patient can pull. Pull. So that's you only provide the pressure support, the target. You provide that whether it's a flow uh, a trigger or a pressure trigger, and you provide this. As you can tell here, simply to go up and down on tidal volume is basically you can flow with the inspiratory time up and down and flow with the flow because the flow rate directly affect inspiratory time the flow rate will be affected by how high the pressure is because you expect the higher pressure required to achieve the higher the flow needed so that's the first thing. The second thing, the inspiratory time is with this 25%. If you pick less, less sensitivity, which means less than 25%, that will lead to increase inspiratory time and vice versa. So that will affect how high. I'm very sure if I make this 10%, the tidal volume will go up. If I make this at 10, tidal volume will go up and if I reverse this thing tidal volume will go down so you need to provide no respiratory rate no tidal volume you need to provide FiO2 peep the flow sensitivity the cycle the, the patient trigger and the pressure target